Hello everyone, welcome to CS for All. I am your CP instructor Sanyul Hussain and today we will be doing problem C hamburgers from Code Forces round 218 div 2. It is a problem based on binary search and is also featured in the recent CP sheet provided by Striver. So let's move on to the question. Now what does the question say? We are told that we can make a hamburger using three ingredients. The ingredients are bread, sausage and cheese. Now we are given the recipe for a special hamburger. And the special hamburger is represented in the form of a string consisting of characters B, S and C. So B stands for bread, S stands for sausage and C stands for cheese. Now we are also given the initial numbers of bread, sausage and cheese we have in our kitchen. They are denoted by NB, NS and NC. NB stands for number of breads, NS stands for number of sausages and NC stands for number of cheese. The question also mentioned that there is a nearby shop which is selling all these ingredients at a particular cost. The pricings are as follows. PB rubbles for bread, PS rubbles for sausages and PC rubbles for cheese. We have R rubbles. The question asks us to output the maximum number of hamburgers we can make. Now let's take the test case 1 and see how much bread, sausage and cheese do we need in the recipe to make a single hamburger. So the recipe here is triple B double S C. So we can figure out that we need 3 breads, 2 sausages and 1 cheese to make a single hamburger. Now let us see how many breads, sausages and hamburgers do we have in the kitchen. So we have 6 pieces of bread, 4 sausages and 1 cheese in the kitchen. Now tell me how many hamburgers can we make through this initial ingredients. So for a single hamburger we need 3 pieces of bread, 2 pieces of sausages and 1 cheese. I think we have sufficient ingredients in the kitchen to make a single hamburger. So if we use 3 pieces of bread, 2 sausages and 1 cheese, what are the leftover ingredients we have? So we still have 3 pieces of bread, 2 sausages and 0 cheese. So can we make another hamburger? We do have 3 pieces of bread which satisfies the recipe. We do have 2 pieces of sausages which again satisfies the recipe but we do not have any cheese. So we are missing out on cheese here. Now we also do have 4 rubbles and there is a nearby shop. So let's go to the shop and see the prices. We see we can buy one bread at one rubble, one sausage at two rubbles and one cheese at three rubbles. So what do we need to make a complete hamburger? One cheese? Yes. So I can invest four rubbles and the cheese will cost me three rubbles. So let's buy the cheese and there I get another complete hamburger. So that makes two hamburgers. Now I have no ingredients left in the kitchen but I still have one rubble to invest. So let's again go to the shop. Now my recipe needs 3 pieces of bread, 2 sausages and 1 cheese to make a complete hamburger. What can I possibly buy with one rubble? A bread maybe? So will buying one single bread help me complete the recipe? No, so I cannot make any more hamburgers. So two hamburgers will be my answer. Now let's move on to the coding part. We will write the function snippets. We take an input string s which is the recipe. 
Then we take the initial number of ingredients in the kitchen. Then we take the price of each bread, sausage and cheese available at the shop. And finally, we take the rubles which we can invest. Now tell me if I have to make one hamburger with my initial ingredients and the rubles I have. How many rubles do I need to invest? So, the recipe triple B double S C will require three pieces of bread, two sausages and one cheese to make one hamburger. And I have six pieces of bread, four sausages and one cheese in my kitchen. So, I can easily make one hamburger with my initial ingredients without spending any rubbles. Now, if I have to make two hamburgers, how many rubbles do I need to use? So, two hamburgers would mean six pieces of bread, four sausages and two cheese. And I have six pieces of bread, four sausages and one cheese. So I need one more cheese and I will buy it from the shop. So it would cost me three rubles. And I already have four rubles so I can make two hamburgers. Now my question is can I make three hamburgers? So three hamburgers would require nine pieces of bread six sausages and three cheese. So I have six pieces of bread, four sausages and one cheese. How many extra ingredients do I need to buy from the shop? So nine minus six equals three breads, six minus four equals two sausages and three minus one equals two cheese. How many rubbles will it cost? So, 3 pieces of bread will cost 3 rubles, 2 sausages will cost 4 rubles and 2 cheese will cost 6 rubles. So total it would cost me 13 rubles. But I only have 4 rubles so I cannot make a third hamburger. So can I make a fourth hamburger? Possibly not because if I cannot make 3 how can I make a fourth one? So it gives me a range of possible answers and the maximum answer I find is 2. Now tell me instead of a linear search can we do a binary search? Yes we can. But before that I want to write a check i function which will take in a value i and all other required values as parameters. Here i is the number of hamburgers. The function will check if we can make i hamburgers with the ingredients and rubbles we have. You can look at the entire code afterwards. I will share it in the video description. Now talking about binary search, what pattern will we follow? We will use binary search on answers concept that is we will run a binary search on the range of answers we can get. Here the answer should be the maximum number of hamburgers. So what can be the start of our range that is the minimum number of hamburgers we can make. It can be 0 and let's assume the maximum number of hamburgers which we can make to be 10 to the power 14. We will also initialize an answer variable to store the maximum possible answer. Now let's run the binary search. My search will run as long as the start of the range is less than or equal to the end. So the binary search on the answer concept follows that my mid will be the answer. Now what can be a valid mid? Let's find out. Suppose my left is 0 and right is 7. Then mid is 3. That is the maximum number of hamburgers I can make is 3. Now is this even valid? No, it is not valid. As we saw earlier in the table, we do not have enough ingredients and rubbles to make a third hamburger. So 3 as my mid is invalid and so would be 4, 5, 6 and 7 and so on. 
So 3 and anything on the right of 3 in my range would be invalid. So I will move to the left. Now my mid will be 1. I will pass it to my check i function and see that it actually is valid. And if 1 is valid, anything on the left of 1 in the range will also be valid. So we can move to the right of 1 and see if anything greater than 1 is also possible. And finally, we will find out that my mid at 2 would give me the maximum possible answer. Now, we have only one edge case to figure out. And that is if my recipe does not require all of the ingredients. Suppose for the test case 2, we have double B C as the recipe. We can clearly see that we don't require any sausage in the recipe. But we do have 10 sausage already in the kitchen which we don't need. So when we will be counting the extra ingredients we still have in the kitchen that is RS minus NS or more clearly 0 minus 10 it will become negative and so will be our price and will give a wrong answer. So if the value is negative we can make it 0 it won't affect the original answer. So that's it for today's video. I hope you understood the entire solution. If you like the video, please do drop a like, do comment the possible improvements we can make in the video and please do consider subscribing to the channel. So see you guys in the next video. Bye.